Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today we'll be taking a look at how you can style one of the most iconic jackets in the modern day, the denim jacket. The denim jacket is quintessentially an American piece of clothing. It's worn and loved by celebrities, fashion icons, and many others all over the world. But just how much do you know about this great style staple? And how can you incorporate it into your wardrobe? Don't worry, we're gonna get into that today. Let's first get started with the history of the denim jacket. Remarkably, the denim jacket is still quite new in terms of fashion history, especially when compared to other items like suits, which have been around for quite some time. Making its first appearance in 1880, the denim jacket was first introduced by Levi Strauss, only 10 years after the introduction of the famous Levi's jeans. Now you can check out our opinion on the modern day Levi 501 jean here. Now by splitting the previous workwear style of overalls into two items, jeans for the bottom and a jacket for the top, it allowed for greater freedom of movement for miners, railroad workers, and other hard labor jobs. Plus the jacket could actually be removed to better regulate body temperature when needed. Being such a hard wearing and cost effective fabric, denim was the perfect choice to construct a workwear jacket. After all, it had proved to be a great choice with the jeans the decade before. And you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. As the decades progressed, other denim manufacturers continued to evolve and adapt the denim jacket as well. In 1921, Lee introduced a railroad jacket, specifically designed for, you guessed it, railroad workers. And they innovated a design specifically for cowboys and cattle workers, called the Slim Jacket. Now this style was shorter than previous iterations. Now this shorter length helped it to not be so restrictive. It had slanted pockets, which made access easier for riders who were on their horses. An alternative version to the Slim Jacket was introduced in 1933. Now this jacket featured an Alaskan blanket styled lining, and it added corduroy trim to the collar and cuffs for extra warmth. Now this iconic style continues to this day, and it's become the go-to denim jacket for wintertime. Not one to rest on their laurels, Levi had also been refining their denim jackets. The Type 3, introduced in 1953, is another iconic style you might recognize. Now this featured flapped chest pockets, a tailored fit, and it also had waist straps to the back. This style became affectionately known as the trucker jacket. The early 50s saw the beginning of the counterculture movement in America, with movies such as The Wild One and Rebel Without a Cause, featuring Marlon Brando and James Dean respectively, wearing casual clothing and worker items as a symbol of rebellion against societal norms. So when Elvis Presley famously appeared in the movie Jailhouse Rock in 1957 wearing a dark denim jacket, a huge rise in the jacket's popularity occurred, and the denim jacket was now an accepted item of clothing for men and women alike. The 60s saw Hollywood icon Marilyn Monroe enjoy the jacket as a nice break from her Hollywood gowns. John Lennon was a huge fan of the denim jacket throughout the 70s. And who can forget Bruce Springsteen's iconic take on the denim jacket, worn sleeveless over the iconic biker jacket. This was for his 1984 album, Born in the USA. Who knew there could be so much rebellion in one outfit? And of course, in recent decades, we see that the denim jacket popularity continues to grow. Being a part of the 90s oversized trend, as well as the 2000s denim the heck out of everything trend. And so the denim jacket lives on today as a continued symbol of expression, freedom, and generally as a great piece of casual wear. So when it comes to choosing a denim jacket for your own wardrobe, what sort of things should you be looking for? First, quality denim. Now it goes without saying, but the first thing you should be looking for is the denim jacket that's crafted from top notch denim. So we're talking about 100% cotton denim. As cotton is a great natural fiber, it's also hard wearing when woven into denim. This material breathes well and gets better with age. You can get some more in-depth knowledge about cotton in our guide here. Now, not all denim is made the same. Some manufacturers will add man-made fibers into the mix to make the fabric cheaper or to improve the initial feel of a garment. Now, this is often the case with elastic, as clothes that have a stretch to them feel better because they move with your body, but they won't last as long as proper cotton denim. And a unique feature of denim is to become more comfortable with age. Another trick that is often used is in the quality of the weaving itself. Now when cotton is spun, the fibers are brought together into a tight thread. Typically, the tighter the thread, the more durable it is. When it's tight, it's harder for the fibers to loosen and to fray. So if a manufacturer wants to create a softer feel straight away, they can choose to have a loosely woven denim. Now this does mean that the denim in question will feel softer straight out of the box, but it will also fray much easier than regular denim. Salvage or raw denim is an example of great quality denim named for its self-edged fabric, which is often proudly displayed to signify its quality. 
Salvage denim is created on shuttle looms, a style of loom that was used in the manufacturing industry prior to the 60s and before the introduction of projectile looms, or the modern day fabric making machines. Now these older looms require an operator to oversee the fabric production, typically leading to an overall higher quality product. Salvage denim has many benefits, including being very hard wearing, softening beautifully over time. It also develops a worn in patina that is unique to you. Of course, quality doesn't come cheap and salvage denim is no exception. So you can expect to pay a premium for a salvage denim jacket, but the benefits will outweigh the upfront cost, a subject Preston will guide you through in this video. One more word if you decide to choose a jacket made from salvage denim. It can be quite stiff to begin with, depending on the thickness of the fabric. But don't worry, this will soften as you wear it. There's the possibility of some shrinkage if you decide to wash the jacket. Don't worry, this is normal. but this is something that the manufacturer should inform you of. And to give into its other name of raw denim, it simply means that the deep indigo dye will have a tendency to come off on lighter garments. And the shade of the garment will actually lighten over time. But this is part of the charm of salvage denim. Next up, let's look at the fastenings on a denim jacket. Historically, copper was used for the rivets and buttons on a denim jacket. But as these oxidized and turned green, copper was replaced. So nowadays, you'll typically find that the hardware on a denim jacket is made from a metal alloy. Basically, you're going to want to look and make sure that the buttons and rivets on the denim jacket are fastened securely. Doing this will help ensure that it will stand the test of time. Now rest assured, the buttons and rivets on your denim jacket can be replaced and repaired when needed. The other area to look out for on a denim jacket is the stitching. Check to make sure that everything is even. And if the jacket is unlined or has any overlocking, check this too. After all, nobody wants a wonky seam. Last up is the fit of your denim jacket. Perhaps the most important element when adding a denim jacket to your wardrobe. Just because it's casual clothing doesn't mean you should pay any less attention to how it fits you. Regardless of the style of jacket you prefer, it's important to ensure that it follows the lines of your body well, but preferably without being skin tight. Because the skinny jean trend has already happened, don't follow it up with a skinny jacket. And you don't want it to be too large either. And no matter how much you dig those 80s and 90s trends, they will come in and out of fashion in very mysterious ways, but a well-fitting denim jacket will look great forever. Interestingly, a lot of the principles of good fit are shared with the suit jacket as well, which you can find out about here. But to summarize, you should be able to comfortably button your jacket all the way without sucking in your stomach. You should be able to move your arms freely. The sleeves should reach to approximately your wrist, no shorter and no longer. And the body length should meet the top of your hips for a good classic length. Now, before we get into styling a denim jacket, I've got a few pointers for you. Now it's important to keep things simple. Like good food, the beauty of a denim jacket is in its simplicity. So please steer clear of the manufactured rips and tears. Let those things happen by themselves. It'll look much more authentic. And no embellishments like studs, badges, or patches, as these kinds of things can make the jacket look like it belongs to a younger relative instead of that stylish individual that you know you are. Classic is king. We've got loads of great technologies and innovations in the 21st century. And that means you can find a denim jacket in just about any color. Instead, we advocate blue denim all the way. It's classic, it's timeless, and you'll never look back at a photo and regret it. Remember, the darker the blue, the smarter it will look. Avoid the Canadian tuxedo. Finally, we can't talk about denim jackets and not about the infamous Canadian tuxedo. Legend has it that in 1951, Bing Crosby was denied entry into a Vancouver hotel due to his denim jacket and jeans combination. Levi's responded by creating a tuxedo entirely out of denim for Bing, and the nickname Canadian Tuxedo stuck. Nowadays, the term refers to matching your jeans and jacket exactly. And since Bing's appearance in double denim, this look has seen some less than fortunate outings. A great way to get around a problematic combination is to ensure your denim doesn't match. So a lighter denim jacket with dark denim jeans or vice versa. Now that we've comprehensively explored the denim jacket, let's style it. How to wear a denim jacket anytime. Starting things off with a classic denim ensemble, preparing some dark denim jeans with a classic denim jacket. As mentioned, the difference in color between the two denims creates contrast, therefore dispelling any notion of a Canadian tuxedo. Furthering the traditional workwear feel to this outfit is a classic flannel shirt. The simplicity of this outfit is the key to its success. So this is why accessories are kept minimal. 
with a brown leather belt and suede chukka boots to finish off this ensemble. After all, you just can't beat this classic look. Up next, we have a simple and modern way to wear your denim jacket, all while still looking classically cool. This time we're using a pair of khaki colored chinos as the accompanying bottom to the denim jacket. The natural light brown tones in the trousers work really well against the blues in the jacket. The concept of mixing browns and blues is explained further in this video, and this harmony is furthered by adding a darker brown belt to the outfit. Underneath the jacket, a simple white t-shirt. Less formal than a button-up dress shirt, but more formal than a slogan t-shirt. A white t-shirt strikes the balance of formality in this outfit. Find out more about white t-shirts in our guide here. Finally, a pair of classic white sneakers round out this outfit perfectly, mirroring the white of the t-shirt without adding unnecessary contrast. Now, if you're looking to add some elegance to your denim jacket ensemble, then pairing an Oxford cloth button-down shirt with trousers is a great way to possibly dress things up. Now, when selecting your trousers, try to avoid super formal fabrics, things like a worsted wool, as something like this might look a bit more odd against a denim jacket. Instead, going for something like a flannel, a gray tweed, or perhaps even a chino, as these have more texture to help balance formality. The Oxford cloth button-down shirt is a staple in the classic wardrobe, and it's another American clothing icon, just like the denim jacket is. It works so well for this look as it rides the line between casual and formal so well. So to keep it this great balance, skip the tie for this look. Finally, a pair of brown suede chaka boots help round out the outfit. The suede texture lends a less formal air, while the simple lines keep everything clean and polished for this look. How to wear a denim jacket when it's hot. And one of the great things about a denim jacket that sets it apart from other lightweight jackets is the ability to wear it even when it's warm outside. Now, a great function here is actually enrolling the sleeves, and this can actually be done without it looking odd. And for the first warm weather outfit, that's exactly what we've done. We've paired it with a striped sport shirt. A bold pattern, like a stripe or a check, can make this look sing. While the button-up nature of the shirt can make you look well put together, a pair of classic shorts are added to emphasize the warm weather vibes. Accessorized with a belt, perhaps one that actually matches your shoes. A classic pair of boat shoes helps round out the entire outfit as a warm weather must-have. Now for our next look, we're keeping the sleeves rolled. We now replace the button-up shirt with the white t-shirt from earlier. This keeps the outfit clean and simple and presents a much more effortlessly put-together aesthetic. Now to complement the crisp white tee, we've added a contrasting pair of dark loafers. Now as you probably know by now, I love the sockless look, but I highly recommend it here as it keeps the outfit harmonious and it will assist you in feeling cooler than if your ankles were covered. Moving on now to when the weather isn't so forgiving. So for our first cold weather outfit, we're bringing back the dark denim jeans from our very first look. We're gonna pair it with an Oxford cloth button down shirt. And to add a layer of warmth, you could also consider adding a knitted vest. This would also be a great way to smarten up the outfit. This can be done without looking too serious. Of course, can help keep you at a comfortable temperature. This look is brought together with the addition of a casual tie. I know that might sound like an oxymoron, but trust me on this one. By choosing a casual texture like a knitted tie, a shantung silk, or a wool tie, you can actually elevate the entire outfit, all without looking too stuffy. And for footwear, the suede boots are back. A suede actually performs well in wet weather. And the simple, elegant lines of a Chelsea boot or even a chukka boot are great in this outfit. Moving on to a stylishly simple outfit for colder weather, we're pairing our denim jacket with a turtleneck sweater underneath this time. There's nothing more comforting than a piece of knitwear when the mercury drops, so we've put it front and center. Not only will it keep you cozy, but it frames your face as well. You can find out more in our turtleneck guide. Now we're bringing back the chinos in this look as they're dressier than jeans, but not so dressy that they're actually out of place. Plus, as we've already discussed, they look great with a denim jacket. And just like with our previous outfit, the suede chukka boots reign supreme. Now last up is a more daring denim jacket look, but one I'm sure you'll want to try yourself. The idea of this look is to use the denim jacket as a middle layer between an Oxford cloth button-down shirt and an overcoat. Now for this look to work well, the overcoat needs to be at least knee length, so that enough difference is given to make it look intentional. Now we're not going for the heating is broken and I'm wearing everything I own look. Now as the overcoat will give the ensemble a more dressed up feel, skipping the tie will help balance things out and provides the ability to wear the chinos from before. To finish off this look, the brown dress shoes add an overall refined edge. Today I'm wearing a dark blue denim jacket from Lucky, a blue button down shirt with a white t-shirt, blue jeans, and a pair of dark brown chukka boots, and of course, a pair of Fort Belvedere brown shadow stripe socks. Check out the Fort Belvedere shop here for socks like these.